Hey, hey, folkies, folks. So Mark just did a live video because he's never done one before. So I thought I'd do one too because I really want to show you what's going on in the garden. Salinas, California. There's Ariadne. Hey, Ariadne! Wow! So what is this? Three o'clock? Two o'clock? One o'clock? Hell, I don't know. I know it's a Wednesday. That's all I know. So little breezy but that's about it let's look around so we're in california and you could tell because of the california poppies which are freaking everywhere and so they're volunteers you don't have to see them because inside they've got all their little seeds and when the wind blows it just makes more so i've had to pull them back a lot otherwise we wouldn't be able to walk out here there would be no paths out here to walk oh my gosh six inches of snow last night <laughs> oh man I, I what i'd do i'd probably be recording it too so you guys have seen several of these videos where i kind of show you how things are growing and everything concord grapes um, it's a little early before we get any grapes so september probably and this is the peach tree who's never really done much of anything last year it had two tiny peaches on it we always seem to be having leaf curl always seem to have a be a problem with that i don't know you can see i'm going to get some peaches there's several on there already you can see in blossoms this is a, a hybrid peach tree so it's got lots of different kinds of peaches on it jasmine this is star jasmine and i cut it way back because it was taken over my garden it was it was just all over this whole area and so i cut it way back and you can see that it looks like it's getting ready to start blooming. And once that blooms, oh my gosh, it's the sweetest smell. It's so amazing. The whole backyard will smell so good. Well, it smells good now. So we have some lettuce, curly lettuce. I've got some tomatoes in here. They've been out here for two or three weeks now. So lettuce. And this is Cecile Brumer. I don't even know if I'm spelling it right. No avocados. Uh -uh. We, don't, we don't grow them here. I guess I could try. These are carrots. And this is some sort of squash. I think it's, uh, I think it is, yeah, it's a it's crook neck squash. This is going to be a Japanese long. I'm using um, eggshells to uh, break up the eggshells. From what I understand, it's supposed to be a really good way of keeping the uh, snails and stuff off. And she says, meow, meow. And then over here, we have green beans. And again, I'm trying the eggshells to keep the snails off without having to use any kind of pesticides. Obviously, things need to be watered. The beets don't look so good. Onions. And this is a lettuce that has gone to seed. But it looks so pretty, we keep cutting it and bringing it inside the house. And the plant for flowers. It's very pretty. Brussels sprouts. Uh, these Brussels sprouts were planted last year and they have been going all year and Mark keeps cutting them back and eating them. Then apricots. Apricot tree, look at, you can see them already starting. See that? We're going to have some apricot, apricot pie. I'm waiting for my son to make me some apricot pie. He makes, made some last year. So delicious. So looking forward to that. And these trees also have several different varieties on each. Right in here, you can see the plums starting. There's one. We have a lot of plums. And this is again a four variety plum tree. And so each branch will grow. Um, you'll have apricots or plums or cherries for a week and then, or two, and then they kind of fade out. Here's cherries, you can see they're starting. So what are we at? April 22nd. Oh, oh, today's Earth Day. Hey, happy Earth Day, everybody. Enjoy your Earth. Mother Earth. I have uh, a lot of succulents here. There's some Johnny Jump Ups that are sneaking in through there. Uh, we're playing and adding on to our house. And so this little area, these are hens and chicks. And there's a bird feeder. We're planning on adding on to the house and uh, I'm going to take out my front lawn and replace it with different kinds of succulents. Isn't this a beautiful succulent? I have seen this um, 
I've never really seen this before. And I really haven't been doing succulents except for like the last three years or so. I, nobody really explained to me how amazing they are. And so we're letting them get big out here so that whenever you go and put them in the front yard, they'll already be there. This is a jade plant that I rescued from um, my neighbor's house that was abandoned for, oh, a year or two. So I took it and, and uh, nurtured it. And, and look at this. It just came right back and it's blooming. Isn't that great? And then we have hydrangeas and some orange tree, orange things so they keep in pots because I don't want them to take over. But you can see the buds on these things. Oh, these are the sweetest, most amazing smell, orange blossoms. So they're by the windows, by my office window, so that whenever I open the window, you can smell the, them come in. And can somebody remember what this is called, this purple plant? Oh my gosh. We've always had it when I was growing up. And it's growing out here wild, like the poppies. I have it in blue, and I have it in this purple color. It's so beautiful. I cannot think of what it's called. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Kenny. Your garden is... Well, so, you know, I haven't really started my garden because this, just like a lot of this is wild. And a lot of it's left over from last year. And you can't really go to the, anywhere to get stuff. Strawberries. I cannot grow enough strawberries to grow to to uh, handle my habit of eating them. And I've got um, more strawberries over here hiding under there. A couple of them are growing, and the blackberries. And there's Ariadne hiding behind the bush. You can see her right there. But the blackberries, I keep them inside these buckets because otherwise they just take over. And um, I can see already I got to cut some of this back a little bit. I got some potatoes in here. That's another thing that you don't want to plant unless you want them everywhere. So I keep them in buckets. And you can see the blackberries are starting. Wish I was up in Oregon to Janine's house where she's got miles and miles of blackberries growing out. Go out there and eat them. They're so amazing. More strawberries. But like I said, I can't, I can't grow them fast <laughs> enough to eat them. When I come out here and I see one, I say, oh, look, a strawberry, and I take it off and I eat it, so I can't even save it for, for later. Onions. There's my my beets. I've got to get those things watered right now after I hang up with you all. Lots of, lots of lettuce. Really mild temperature. This is about a typical day here in our town. We, you know, we fluctuate maybe 10 degrees higher, 10 degrees lower. It's not really much on the temperature stuff out here. We're pretty mild all year round, which is fantastic, but it's also kind of a pain because I'm really not good at temperatures, living in areas that are really hot or really cold or anything with seasons. Um, as I said, I didn't really plant most of these things. They just came right up um, and left over from the years before. We like kind of a wild look. Lots of flowers. Looks like they're gonna come in over here. Um, so lots more to happen. So I'll keep you guys abreast of the of the garden as we as we have some time, you know. Who <laughs> has we, we have tons of time, don't we? Alright, you guys. Have a great day. Great to see you. Stay in touch.